All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the member is supported by a square rod which fits loosely through the smooth square hole of the attached collar at A and by a roller at B. Determine the components of reaction at these supports when the member is subjected to the loading shown. So this is a relatively easy pro uh, problem in uh, comparison with the ones around it. So I'm kind of excited to do it. So I know, first let's draw the free body diagram. I know that I have a, sorry, this is BC. I have a positive reaction here um, at C. Now, I know that I have a reaction here at A going towards a positive uh, AY and a reaction going towards a positive AX. The problem didn't say that the, the connection at A doesn't have any uh, reactive moments, so we have to draw them as well. Now, in the X, we have a reactive moment, we're gonna call it MAX. In the Y, we have a reactive moment, we're gonna call it MAY. And then in the C, we have a reactive moment, we're gonna call it MAC. Now, I'm assuming that positive is kind of clockwise as if you were looking from top of the axis. So for the C, if I was looking from the top down, kind of clockwise is positive. Same for the X and same for the Y. So now that we have our freedom by the diagram, let's just do some math and, and find this. It's, it's actually not that hard. So the first thing that we're going to do is find the sum of the moments in the X, the Y, and the C. So some of the, uh, not some of the moments, sorry, some of the forces. Some of the forces in the X is equal to zero. In the X, we have AX plus 300 is equal to zero. And that means that we can already find the X, which is negative 300 newtons. Cool. Now, some of the forces in the Y is equal to zero and is equal to AY plus 500 is equal to zero. So AY is equal to minus 500 newtons. Awesome. And then some of the forces in the C is equal to zero. We got minus 400 plus BC is equal to zero. BC is equal to 400 newtons. Very easy so far, right? So now let's just find the reactive moments. And this is something that with the moments you gotta like uh, be organized, but let's go for it. So some of the moments in the X is equal to zero and it is equal to the moment about A in X plus 500 because about the x-axis only this 500 force is generating a moment aside of the reactive moment uh, the 400 is not generating a moment about the x-axis because it's it sits right on the x and c plane same thing for the 300 newton force and the reactive force bc so 500 times 2 y times 2 because that's the distance from c to the x-axis and the reactive moment so if we solve for the reactive moment, we get that it is equal to minus 1,000 Newton meters. The fact that it's negative, it means that instead of going um, kind of clockwise, it goes clockwise. So some of the moments about the Y is equal to zero and it is equal to the reactive moment in the Y. Now let's see what's creating a moment about the Y axis. I know BC is generating a moment about the Y and it's trying to turn it clockwise, so it's negative. B, C times two. Two is the distance between B and the Y or the, the Y axis. Um, then I have the 400 uh, force. That one's also trying to turn, trying to twist the, the whole system about the Y axis. And that is times three. And that is uh, positive because it's trying to do it kind of clockwise. 3 being the distance from from C and the C Y plane, the Z Y plane. And then the last one is minus 300 times two. The 300 force is trying to, try, also trying to turn the system about the Y axis and uh, two is the distance from point C to the X axis, to the X and C plane. And that's it. So we, we already know BC, don't we? Yeah, we know BC from right here. So we just solve for MA.
MAY is equal to minus 200 Newton meters. And then the last uh, moment, which we have to find, which is equal to zero, I mean, which the sum of the moments is equal to zero, um, is equal to what is trying to turn it about the C axis, then we're lucky because the 300 force lies on the um, XC plane, so that's the 400 force, and so that's the reaction at B. Um, and then AY and AX just sit on, on the origin, so they, they don't try to turn it about the C axis. So the only one that's trying to turn it um, about the C axis is the 500 uh, Newton force times 3, 3 being the distance from uh, C to the uh, I'm sorry, yeah, C, C being the distance from C to the CY plane, the ZY plane, plus the moment, the, the reactive moment. So the reactive moment is equal to minus 1500 Newton meters. The fact that it's negative, it means that instead of turning counterclockwise, looking at it from the top, it turns it clockwise. So um, final answer for AX, for AY, for BC, for the moment about the x at a, for the moment about the y at a, and for the moment about the c at a. If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're going to find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.